Hello, it's Aline at Overly, and today I'm super excited to be here with you because we are launching Overly's WebAR beta version. I am going to walk you through on how to create a WebAR project with us, but just to outline some differences beforehand. So up until now, you were able to use our augmented reality creator to build marker-based experiences that require the trigger photo that brings to life the augmented reality content that you uploaded. With our web AR tool, you will be able to create markerless experiences that will use world tracking. So you will be able to attach content, whether you know it's a wall or the floor, and then it's just going to be placed on that area and it won't require any marker triggers. And people will be able to view these augmented reality experiences that you create just by opening a hyperlink on their web browser. So you will be able to share it via maybe a QR code or just by a link. So I will walk through everything right away. And if you've ever created an augmented reality experience with our platform, you know that everything starts with creating a new project, which is kind of like a campaign that holds on to various AR experiences that you create. Uh, beforehand, you were only able to add marker based, but now you will see once you select to create a project, you will be able to see whether it's a web AR or an app based experience that you want. For this example, of course, I'm going for web AR. I click here and this is going to be how I'm calling my campaign folder as a whole. So once you click that you want to create a web AR project, the platform will straight away bring you to our 3D editor. Unlike the marker based experience that requires a marker, that step is not required here. But still, the content that WebAR supports is three-dimensional mainly. So we, it supports static 3D text, static uh, 3D objects, and also you can use the NFT integrations that we have with Variable and OpenSea. In this case, you can fetch 3D objects and also JPEGs. So for this example, I'm actually just going to use our existing sketch from integration and search for an emoji um, that I can maybe put on the wall, just to show you an, as, a, as an example. So this is the 3D object, it looks good to me, so I'll just import it to my scene. Okay, excellent. And as you know, uh, 3D objects can be combined actually with uh, the 3D text that we have, so I will go ahead and do that also. So this is going to be the text that I'm adding. Uh, here I can uh, adjust it a little bit, maybe red, just so, to be more on brand. Uh, choose the font, position it as required. And at this point, uh, actually one thing to consider before we position it, you, you will see that I am placing it on the ground level. But the new thing that comes with WebAR is an option to place content on the wall, which is maybe particularly re relevant to artists that want to showcase their paintings or NFTs and place them on the wall rather than on the ground. So I will actually select this option. And you see that straight away the platform gives you like a wall view that you can uh, zoom out of and position your content. So imagine that's maybe a wall in an office or an exhibition hall, and then you can place everything accordingly. Okay, so I'm quite happy with everything <laughs> as it is. So I will go ahead and uh, publish my project. And that's pretty much all I have to do. Great, so we have published the project and the platform already says congratulations, and you're ready to share it with your audience. It uh, does say that you can uh, scan this QR code to test it, which you should do definitely because you should test your campaigns and content before it goes out to your audience. But also, please know that this is the same QR code that you should download and place it on your posters, business cards, brochures, you know, wherever your AI campaign is going to be. This is the same QR code that you download and share around. So. Whenever you need it, you can preview the project again, download it and place it wherever it's necessary. Another option for sharing this augmented reality experience with your audience is uh, via digital means. So LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, email, WhatsApp, which is completely fine if you share it with them. Uh, you know, maybe WhatsApp, it will be rarely that people open the link uh, on their computer screens, but it may happen. But what I wanted to let you know that whenever you communicate, 
that opened this hyperlink for WebAR, you have to ensure that you let people know that it's only compatible with mobile devices. So if they, uh, let's see what happens if they will open the uh, links on their computer browser. Here you go. So all you really get is a notification that you basically need a different device. So, so yeah, just good communication in the case uh, people don't know that WebAR is meant for mobile devices. So that's something you should keep in mind for sure. And also in terms of sharing the link, so you can use the link that we generate. You can, of course, use various platforms to maybe create tracking URLs and shorten this link, uh, you know, however it is uh, more comfortable for you. But another thing that's uh, quite useful if you want everything to stay under your brand and don't want to mention overly at all in this instance, you can just copy this embed uh, link and embed the project on your website if necessary, share it with your developers and they will just add this as an iframe to whichever web page you, you, of your choosing and it can be part of your content and people can click on it and open it and it is under your brand and nothing to do with Overly, if that's what you prefer. So that's kind of all I wanted to walk through today. And I will also add videos at the end of how my AR experience turned out. And hopefully this was a helpful guide, but do reach out if you have any questions. And as I mentioned, as we're still in beta mode, we will super appreciate any feedback on how we can improve our web AR creation process already. Thank you so much and be in touch.